So, this power system analysis, this course is mainly for uh, third year uh, electrical engineering students, yeah, apart from that for practicing engineers also. So, in this course we will cover that your uh, structure of power system and various aspects. Structure of power system means it is starting from generation, transmission and distribution systems and different uh, terminology and its definition we will learn and finally, we will see that uh, relationship between uh, load factor and loss factor. Now, after this we will come to the transmission line parameters, you know the transmission basically is three phase transmission line and generally parameters involve me resistance, inductance, capacitance and conductance, uh, but anyway that sun conductance uh, you know it is uh, it is negligible effect. So, mainly resistance you know also and mainly we will uh, learn inductance and capacitance of uh, single phase as well as three phase uh, transmission system and all the all the theories uh, for inductance calculation as well as capacitance calculations will be developed and all these theories will be supported by several good examples right and once this is done we will learn power unit system because and its advantage of power unit system and we will see few good numericals of power unit system and that power unit representation of transformer equivalent circuit that also we will learn we will learn few few other uh, other other things also when we will study power unit system. Then we will go for characteristic of transmission line, we will line we will learn long line, short line, medium line and long long line uh, and and that uh, your A B C D parameters of transmission line and from that we will also uh, we will study that efficiency of transmission line and few other aspects also and in detail and all the all the theories will be de de derived all the mathematical development will be derived in detail and all these theories will be supported by few good examples. Uh, then we will study load flow studies right, load flow is a very common for power system planning studies right and basically you know then load flow you have a slag bus, you have PQ bus, you have PV buses right, but uh, those things we will we'll learn. Uh, your coupled, decoupled and first decoupled load flow studies. In addition to that uh, in the you know as the uh, electrical engineering uh, is uh, changing particularly the particularly from the point of view particularly power system is changing from the point of view of that uh, your distributed generation right that is particularly renewable uh, your dispatchable and I put in that way the dispatchable and non dispatchable DGs right that huge uh, your, uh, your power penetration into the transmission your distribution as well as transmission network uh, power network. So, for based on that that uh, two uh, you know new buses have been introduced that is called P bus and P Q V bus right. So, when you will consider P bus and P Q V bus for a system then we will see that how Jacobian can be formed and how the network can be solved right. So, apart from that we will study that your uh, balance and your unbalance fault all in detail. We will see that uh, uh, Z bus algorithm also step by step method how we can construct Z bus algorithm particularly for fault studies and as well as symmetrical component we will study. And after that you, you know you will study that uh, your economic uh, load dispatch problem. Uh, detail we will see economic load dispatch and iteratively how can it be solved. So, as far as one can do it in the classroom, so we will use gradient method for, sol for solving economic load dispatch problem and detail and every all, uh, all steps will be explained and a uh, few examples also will be solved here iteratively such that you will understand thoroughly right. And then we will study that transient stability of single machine infinite bus system right and equal area criterion and all the things will be explained in detail right. So, whenever whenever you will go through this course you will find several good examples have been solved and explained clearly and if you have any doubt when you are listening the lecture you can send the mail to me right and we will try to answer your uh, your questions and uh, I and I will say that uh, this course will be 
very interesting to all of you. Of course, uh, all the topics, there are many topics, all the topics cannot be covered right uh, in this thing, but uh, all the, if a time permits and uh, beyond this I will see that one or two uh, some new things if it if, if it is possible then I will cover, but whatever I said all these things will be covered in detail. So, thank you.